Welcome to the second part of solving inequalities. And I, and I showed you in the first part that uh, an inequality, you approach it as if it is an equality, as if it's an equation. All right, so check that video on my site, explainingmaps.com, um, to make sure you understand what I'm talking about. Well, let's say we have now this inequality. 2x plus 1 is smaller or equal to 3x plus 4. Yeah, because I promise you, I'm going to add something new to it now, something you have to consider. Now, some of you uh, will solve it like this, in this order, and that, there's nothing wrong with that. They're gonna take away the 3x here, and they're gonna take away the 3x there. Yeah, so, I have a new marker. Yeah, that's better. 2x minus 3x is minus x, plus one will be four. Yeah, so make sure also you know how to solve an uh, equation, eh? because I'm not explaining every single step anymore, because I assume you know how to do it. Anyway, so it says minus x is three. Minus x is not three, by the way. Minus x is smaller or equal to three. But we're never interested in minus x. We're always interested in x. And the danger now is, is that you divide by minus one, so that three turns into a minus three. Yeah, but what happens to the sign? And some of you are going to say, well, the sign stays yeah, smaller or equal to, yeah, and that is wrong. And some teachers tell you, well, if you divide by a negative with an inequality, the sign flips. So the sign turns around all of a sudden. Abacadabra. The sign turns around. Well, those teachers are all right. The sign, you do have to turn the sign around, but that's not hocus pocus. That's not magic. And I'm going to show you why. Because I'm telling you, whenever you are solving inequalities, I strongly encourage you, although you get the correct answer, but I strongly encourage you to always keep your terms with the x positive. What do I mean with that? Rather than taking away the 3x here, I'm going to take away the 2x there. So let me just rewrite the question. 2x plus 1 smaller or equal to 3x plus 4. I can see that if I take away the 3x there, I'm going to get a negative x term. So with inequalities especially, always keep them positive. So I'm going to take away the 2x there. Then I'll have 1 smaller or equal to 3x minus 2x is x plus 4. And I continue, take away 4, take away 4. So, x minus 3. And then, I know I'm in Egypt right now, and um, the Arabs, uh, amongst other people by the way, read from right to left, and that's what you have to do now. So, x from right to left is bigger or equal to minus three. You see what that it says like that, if you read from this direction? X is bigger or equal to minus three. So that is what you want to say now eventually, so bigger or equal to minus three. So nothing all of a sudden just flips, all right? Nothing just changes, it's not spooky, amakadabra, magic, no. It's common sense, yeah, it's common sense. Why? Because we keep our X positive, and we read from this side, so it's bigger or equal to minus three. Now, if you do get a negative sign with your x and you divide by a negative of your, or you multiply by a negative, yeah, then the sign flips, it turns around. But hopefully now you understand why it turns around. It just doesn't just turn around, no. Actually, you just, uh, yeah, turn your terms around. Anyway, explainingmouse.com, guys, for all my resources. Like and share if this was useful. Uh, so I can help your friends too and go to the next video because I'm going to include a new thing about inequalities. I'll see you there. Bye-bye